Hello everyone. Decline of the U.S. stock and bond markets continued from last week. Today BlackRock Investment Institute came out with a new report about the investment situation. It concluded that market volatility is only a beginning or a large trend. Today, S&P index crashed below important support level of 4,000. In summary, BlackRock report was recommending reduction of the exposure to U.S. equities. Given the size and influence of the company on U.S. equity market and also a herd mentality of the large corporate America, one can expect this narrative to be quickly echoed by the other major players. How important this shift? Well, if BlackRock alone reduces its equity exposure by say 10%, based on the size of its asset, it can dump almost a trillion of dollars worth of equities into the markets. And it is only one company. Add to it all the fidelities of the world and sovereign funds and you can have a sizable market drop. Nothing in this assessment is a news to most of us. I drive by empty storefronts daily. For lease signs are very common even in more prosperous parts of town. In working areas businesses are just fenced off or boarded up. But the statement is significant due to the growing realization that even large businesses that supported the stock markets are facing major headwinds. Report detailed effects of continued pandemic issues, Chinese economic slowdown, European economic predicament and what looks like a protracted military conflict between Russia and Ukraine. If you add inflation, consumer sentiment and Federal Reserve policy one can very realistically expect the major disappointment in the next earnings cycle. I think this reality started to sink and not only for stock market participants. We had a major decline in Bitcoin prices today. It is down to just over $31,000 mark, which is over 50% from its pick. I do not want to go into the fundamentals of the ownership of the Bitcoin. We all have our own opinions. But I would like to highlight the price action of precious metals today. Gold and silver are down, so is platinum. Gold is roughly $150 below its all-time high, which is less than 10%, while Bitcoin is down over 50%. This is in my opinion a difference between pure speculation and investment. If the past is any guide to the future, this decline is expected. Remember 2020 dip? When crash is just starting, nothing is safe all assets are expected to get dumped. But the degree and the length of time of the decline is usually in favor of the precious metals. I'm not providing any financial advice, this is just my personal opinion only, but I'm increasing my gold buying on the way down and holding off buying silver, as I would prefer to see a signs of a bottom in silver before I buy. Gold is an asset I'm happy to cost average as the prices decline. It is an insurance against $30 trillion deficit and rampant money creation on top of the visible and invisible geopolitical changes. Just my opinion. As always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to see more on these topics. Until next time.